So good morning. Today we want to take off the superstructure, finishes, and the roof using this plan we are given. If you look at this plan, the external length is 76 millimeters and external width is 45 millimeters. If you look at the notes, we are told that walls are painted external and internally. Roofing materials, we are told it is GCI, galvanized corrugated iron sheets. So that's the depth of roofing materials we want to use. Then again, we are told that the floor finishes is in 300 by 300 millimeters ceramic tiles. Again, we are told that the ceiling is Egyptian board, which means the ceiling materials will be using the Egyptian board. Then again, we are told the walling materials is 200 millimeters thick machine dressed stones, abbreviated as MDS. Then the first thing is to have what is called the checklist. Because we want to take off the three things, we will just have the three checklists where we have the superstructure. When we, when we talk about the superstructure, we then talk about the walls and we will draw the roofing walling materials. Then we we'll talk about the roof, then we we'll go to the finishes. The finishes we have to measure cluster, we have to measure painting, we have to measure shillings. So the first thing is determinations of center line. That is the first thing when we want to take any structure. So according to this side, this figure we are given, as I've told you before, then when we are determining the center line, we simply have to get the perimeter of the figure given. If you look at this, our figure, it is in rectangular. So simply the center line will be 2 into length plus width. We don't have any other internal walls. So we simply will have the external center line alone. So which, which of course will have 2 into the length of 76, 100 millimeters plus 45 100 millimeters. If you add the two, you'll have to get that is uh, 75, 4500, 0, 0, 1, 12, plus 12,100 millimeters. So the center line will be 12,100 millimeters. But we have four corners, so we have we less four corners, less four into 200 because we are told they are 200 millimeters thick. So if you subtract 800 from that place, we'll have to get our total like 11,300 millimeters center line. 11,300 millimeters. So on the superstructure, again, you know from the normal wall heights, the height of the wall is always, uh, height of the wall is always 2100 millimeters. So in minimal language, is seven feet that's the height but the length will be using our center line which is 11,300 millimeters then you notice that walls are measured into square meter so it simply means from the superficial floor method we will open this our length which of course will be our center line then we multiply by height so on the entry column you enter length as 11.300 and put 2.10 then say 200 millimeter thick machine dressed stone complete with hook iron in cement sand mortar meaning this our wall, we are measuring complete with the hoop iron. Then we close that our entry. That's what we are told to measure in the superstructure. We are told to assume, there's another one that we are told, they say assume columns. Assume columns and ring B and beams. Assume column and beams. But let's say if we are, we are told to measure them, let's go for the beams. Beams will have to take the reinforcement. We have to take, measure the formwork. Then again we have to take off 
the the concrete in concrete in ring beam in ring beam concrete in ring beam so assume assume a beam a ring beam of 300 by 200 millimeters so we want to make off take off the concrete concrete is being measured into cubic meter simply means then width times depth the length will be there length of the ring beam which of course all this our ring beam will go along the center line so the ring beam will simply be uh, 11,300 millimeters the width will be the thickness of the beam which will be 300 millimeters then the depth will be 200 millimeters 200 millimeters deep so when we want to take off the concrete we enter 11.30 0 0.30 then 0 0.20 then you come Start the ratio because oil, when you are describing in concrete, you have to give full description. Then you say one, three to six. This is the class. Then first concrete. Then first concrete in horizontal horizontal beam. Then you close that entry. If you go to the formwork, formwork is being measured into square meter if it is less than 300 millimeters. So simply means the length will be, if it was supposed to be 300 by 200, this 300, 300, then this 200, this 200. Then you open, you see the superficial flow methods, we we'll open this our formwork to make it. Uh, with so we we'll have 300 plus 300 plus 200 plus 200 giving us a thousand millimeters so simply means the width will be 1000 where the length will be the height of the column which is always 3000 plus homework it was homework will be the center line length of the center line is 11,000 300. On the description, we start with this, say 11.301.00, it close the bracket, it close the entry, then start 200, no, 150, 150 millimeters thick uh, cypress timber. You have to, give, to describe the type of timber you want to use in the formwork cypress timber on sides of the formwork on the sides of the formwork on the sides to provide on the sides of formwork of ring beams on horizontal ring beams horizontal being beams then close that into okay let's go for the roof because no we are not measured for the for the reinforcement Or 200 
Then you say assume, <laughs> these are the things you must assume. You will not be given the, in the exam. You're supposed to assume most of them. Assume links are provided at 200 millimeters center to center. It means from one from one links to another is a distance of 200. So we want to know how many links will we provide for all these links, for all these beams. So number of links, number of links is equal to length, which is the center line, 11,300 millimeters divided by 200 millimeters, but plus one because it's center to center millimeters. This one will be five. Total of six and five. Let's just say fifty-seven plus one, giving us fifty-eight number. So it means we we'll provide this at fifty-eight. But length of one bar so go to length of one link. Then length of one link is equal to uh, we have you open that 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 our that our beam it is two hundred plus two hundred plus three hundred plus three hundred giving us the same as a thousand millimeters. So that is the length. So on our entry we we'll have to make put this and multiply by number. Then many bars on many columns we put for say assume column no below column or uh, ring beam of four number bars means we are going to Place them is a rectangular rectangular ring beam. One, two, three, four. So then now we went on the description say D ten reinforced reinforcement reinforcement bus on horizontal ring beam horizontal ring beam then because ring beams are being measured into kg we put times kg again we have say d2 d10 d8 reinforcement Bus to provide links to D2. To D2. So let's go for the entry column. For the entry column, we'll have to measure, we'll have to place the length of one bar, which will be the length of the center line of the menu bar here, which is 11.3. Zero as the main bar, but because they are four, we multiply by four. If we come to the eight, the length of one the eight, which is the length was one thousand, is one point zero zero. We close, but we got the number as fifty eight. Then we multiply by fifty eight. Then close. That your entry and is complete. The second one was a uh, roof. Roof. When you say the roof, assume a cable. 
table. It means we have only the matrices. If you look at the figure, you'll be told we have 7600 millimeters and 4500 millimeters. So all our traces will go, will run along the shorter span of the room. So you can get the number you say, assume traces are placed at 1200 millimeters center to center. It means from the first truss to the another, there's a distance of 1200 millimeters. The same number of truss, number of trusses is equal to uh, 7600 7600 divided by 1200 uh, this will actually be around the 6.1 that's one, this will be 6.1 giving us 7 number of trusses so on one truss So let's assume a cover, a cover truss. A cover truss will look like this. When you have that, when you have that, you have what is called the stem. The you have that. So this is the tie beam. This is the rafters. This is the princess post. Princess post. This is the king post. And this is the queen post. This is called the queen post. This is the princess post. This is the princess. This is the queen post. Uh, this is called the straining beam. Straining beam. Straining beam. So let's start by making those stresses, then assume the angle is 30 degrees. That rise of the angle of the truss is 30 degrees. So let's start with the main truss. So this is 4500, as I've told you, all the stresses we line along this point. But this one we are given at 30 degrees. So from the from the uh, trigonism, trigonometry, we know that we have what is called the soccer tower. So we have this is the adjacent. We don't have opposite, we can get any. But because we have one, and say. So we say, first of all, adjacent, we can turn. Turn theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we have, we want to get to this opposite of 30. So turn 30 is equal to opposite, which is we don't have this x, but the adjacent is. 4500. So if you need x, you will have to get um, tan 30 times 4500. You have to get x. So you multiply it down to get x. So this will be our king post. King post. So after getting the king post, you can get using the Pythagoras theorem to get the rafters. 
the rafters. In which is equal to hypotenuse is equal to base square plus height square under square root. Because we have base at 4500, 4500, then uh, hypotenuse. So we have 4500 square plus this x squared then we have to get that as the hypotenuse because this hypotenuse has 2 you have to multiply this by this this for 1 class but there are 2 and also we have number of 7 let's see that let's enter that graph task you say it is always 100 millimeters by 50 millimeters pre treated cypress timber to rafters. Then on the entry, we'll have to put what we have, assume we get it as V, as Y, after getting the square root, we close, but on the number we had, there are two now, there are seven total number of class, but this one, there are two. Then close that our entry. So that's how we get. Then again, we can use, we can now come to the isosceles triangle to get other triangles. Let's go for the iron sheets, roofing materials. materials so we get the area then we divide by 2 so if you look at the figure we'll have to cover this place and the other side you get the area of the truss of the rafters after getting this was y we have this at 4500 then this was uh, after getting this as x which of course we get, we can get the area of this area upper. Using the rafters, so use the length of the rafters as y, uh, then we go to 500, not 700, because we have to cover this channel going to the other side. Yeah, it, it covers the both sides. So height of the rafter times the length. So because we want to open, let me show you how we get it. Let me show you how we can get it. So I think you know that all the iron sheets, we now we don't place them on the other side. We place them using the horizontal line, the, the larger length. But this iron sheet will run along the, the rafters, from the, from the rafters up to the ridge board. So it means we take length will be length of the ridge board, of the, of the rafter, length of the rafters, but width will be what we are given in the, in the, in the plan, which is 76 hundred. So the area, if you want to enter that, say, we are doing that as y because there is not have time to calculate from here. This y, then you enter 7.60, then I describe as gauge 28 gauge GCI corrugated, galvanized corrugated iron sheets on the rafters on the pallets to provide roofing materials. Then you close that your entry. Because of the time, we leave from, from that place so that we can next next class. We'll be taking off the other part of the truss and the roof. Thank you for listening and participating in the class. Welcome.